Once upon a time, Richard Gere was a major movie star, a heartthrob who was also well regarded for his dramatic skill in films like An Officer and a Gentleman and Pretty Woman. And then he seemed to vanish from mainstream Hollywood. Here's a look at the reasons why Hollywood won't cast Richard Gere anymore. Meh. When Gear began his career in the late 70s and early 80s, he quickly became a critical darling. But over the years, critics have become less enamored with his choice of roles, with films like Intersection, King David, The Jackal, and Amelia all getting less than stellar reviews. That would be fine if his films were making major bank, but they aren't. 2009's Amelia earned just $19.6 million against a $40 million budget, while the 2011 thriller The Double brought in just $3.9 million against a $13.5 million budget. Even his 2008 Nicholas Sparks adaptation, Nights and Rodanthe was a bit of a bummer, taking in only $41 million domestically, not even close to the box office figures earned by other Sparks films. That's the sort of thing Hollywood definitely noticed. He doesn't diversify. Apart from a couple of documentaries and TV movie roles long ago, Gear has almost exclusively appeared on the silver screen since the 70s, which means he completely missed the whole golden age of television wave that movie star peers like Glenn Close have latched onto. Gear has also avoided the Broadway stage for decades, despite originally getting his start in theater and starring in the hit film adaptation of Chicago. There may be opportunities for Gear outside of film, but if so, he doesn't seem very interested in them. Religion and Politics Gear has been an active practitioner of Buddhism since his early 20s, and he's not shy about putting his beliefs before business. His criticism of the Chinese government in favor of Tibetan freedom at the 1993 Academy Awards earned him a 20-year ban from the Oscars, as well as a lifetime ban from visiting the People's Republic of China. The Chinese away from Tibet and allow these people to live as free, independent people again. That hasn't kept Gear from continuing his activism around what the star calls China's horrendous, horrendous human rights situation. He even testified before Congress. As a as a result, Gear has essentially been blacklisted from Chinese cinema, which is a problem these days given China is expected to soon overtake America as the biggest box office in the world. That has severely limited his opportunities, with Gear even telling The Hollywood Reporter that one project was cancelled because the Chinese director was told that if he worked with Gear, he and his family would never have been allowed to leave the country ever again, and he would never work. Inclusive societies become great societies. Brutalizing your own people is not a way to greatness. Still, even without Hollywood's movie machine, Gear has plenty of other concerns to occupy his time. He co-founded the humanitarian non-governmental organization Tibet House and engages in a great deal of relief work across the globe, including tribal protection efforts as well as AIDS awareness and education campaigns. And instead of big blockbuster parts, Gear is satisfied to pursue small-budget films with personal meaning, saying, I was successful enough in the last three decades that I can afford to do these smaller films now. Divorce Drama Gear may not be acting much because he's been too busy hashing out the details of his divorce from former model Carrie Lowell. According to People, the couple wed in 2002, split 11 years later, and finally finalized their divorce in October 2016. They've spent the interim reportedly haggling over finances and custody arrangements for their teenage son Homer. Gear has since been linked to Spanish socialite Alejandra Silva, who is more than 30 years his junior. It's believed the duo were seeing one another for at least a year before going public with their romance. At the Taormina Film Festival in Italy in June 2016, reported the Daily News. And that may lead to even fewer major movie roles for the actor, as Radar Online reported that Gear is quitting Hollywood and plans to hightail it to Europe with his lady love and live a quieter life. Turning it around Regardless of what roadblocks his stance on China have caused him, Gear still gets work, even if it's in films most people have never heard of. The New York Times said he's never been better than he was in the comedy thriller Norman, while Deadline wrote that his turn in the mystery thriller The Dinner proves that he is in the midst of an impressive indie renaissance. And he's even using those films to highlight his political beliefs. Unfortunately, we have leaders that stimulate fear, and that fear causes us to do really terrible things. So this is actually a great time to be a Gear fan, as long as you don't mind doing a little extra work to track down the obscure films he's starring in these days. Who needs Hollywood, right? Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.